Hello friends, hope you all are doing good and in this video I will be going through all the courses which I will be learning in 2023 and uh, like I will tell you the resources from which I will be learning and the reason of like picking up those courses. So without wasting any time let's let's start. The first course which I will be going through is the complete web development. Okay, it's by Dr. Angela Yu. Let me give you a brief introduction about this course. So this is the course. Okay, I have already like enrolled in it. Although I haven't like completed more than one or two videos, but very soon I'll be like uh, going through each one of these modules and it is a 100 day, 100 day course and in this like it starts from basic html going to css the bootstrap javascript okay and everything like back end front end apis github database sql so i think like this is a very uh, beginner friendly course and as i am a qa but still like i haven't done any anything related to development and i i have no like uh, no intention of going to development but still like uh, to upskill my QA skills I think uh, we should know how like how they are writing code how the front end is working what is back end so for that reason like uh, I have selected this course and pretty soon I will be starting this course okay and this is a pretty good course like uh, it has lot of uh, like good ratings and see the number of students enrolled so by this number only like you have you'll have an idea that how much course how much this course is popular and i'll like all the courses which i'm talking about i'll give you a link in the description box you can check uh, those out from there okay so this is uh, this is a udemy course now the second course like uh, second thing which i'll be learning is the system design so like anyone can write an html css okay and this will create a website but what happens when like this website is designed for let's say 10000 or let's say 1000 students but what happens tomorrow if we have like 1 lakh hit on this okay so this is the reason we have to like design the um, website or our application in such a way that it can handle a lot of uh, like lot of traffic plus how it is scaling so scaling is one thing which like i'll be looking at and a great example of this is hotstar so as you as you are aware that like hotstar uh, telecast the live ipl matches and world cup matches and in one of those like they are parallelly streaming almost like 10 million users so this is pretty fascinating and I want to like understand how they actually scale, how they design. Okay, before like writing the code, it's the design which you have to make and like uh, just out of my interest, I am like enrolling in this course and the and I'll be like starting this pretty soon. So this is a this is a course by Pratima Upadhyay. Like in my previous video, I have invited her and if you haven't watched that video, like click on this i button and to watch the whole video. Okay, so in that like, although that video was for the DSA part, but still like, uh, I think this course will be useful for you if you are planning to like learn the system design. Okay, and this will be starting from next month. So still you have time to enroll in it and that's, that's good. Okay, so, this is the system design after this like in this only uh, while we are learning the web development so there is a thing javascript okay i haven't like learned a single line of javascript i know basic javascript pop-ups okay how to handle those pop-ups in selenium framework thing but like I have no idea and because of this like you will be not be able to understand the cypress and playwright tool okay so like this is a basic i'll say basic prerequisite to learn any uh, like typescript or javascript based tool so for that reason i'll be learning this first and after that like i'll be going to these trainings okay so but like I want to understand the JavaScript fully first and for that reason like I have selected Akshas Any. So I'm assuming that most of you know him 
but still if not like he has his website like i was looking at his uh website to find that course but i was not able to find it but still like a uh, couple of months back he has started this course and possibly in the later um, like later half of the year i'll be enrolling in this course okay and uh, okay why have uh, 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 let me close this job visual studio okay after this i'll be doing the aws developer associate one so right now i am architect associate okay and with this like i want to go towards the developer associate one the reason of me doing this thing is just because that like i think 50% of this syllabus syllabus is overlapping with the associate one so like i have already covered this 50% syllabus and the rest 50% syllabus is more toward the uh, like what do you call it cloudless or serverless things okay just like our aws lambdas okay these are serverless like there are servers but we don't have to manage it so for that reason like i am pretty much interested in knowing like digging deep dive into the aws lambdas s3 buckets okay and uh, our auto scaling groups etc and the networking part the basic ec2 part are the same for the architect associate and the developer associate one okay and i have not done the cloud practitioner one aws cloud practitioner so possibly uh, like in next one to two months i'll be doing this also okay although it doesn't make sense to do this first and after doing this like going for this but still like just to just to have a basic understanding i'll be doing this cloud practitioner one plus like the developer associate one and possibly next year like we can think of this is ops associate one so as you guys are aware that uh, like the beginner one like this is a beginner one okay i'll rate as one and in the intermediate one there is architect associate developer associate plus sysops associate okay after this like the third one is the professional one so for that like you have to like you have to do any two of them okay so the ultimate goal is this thing but for the main time like uh, this is quite fascinating to me that's why like i'm selecting this one and possibly next year i'll go this one and like this is this is the for the later part so that's it guys like these are some some things uh, which i'll be doing in 2023 and hopefully in the month of december i can give you an update that what all i have done and uh, like uh, in the meantime like i'll be posting all those status updates on my linkedin so if you're not following me over there just uh, like in the description box you can follow me okay so that's it guys i hope you have found this useful and the reason of me like making this video is that like just make out a plan for 2023 because already like one month is gone you only have 11 months left and like this is this is a year where like uh, you should be uh, focusing on upskilling yourself and uh, if you can do just for the sake of fun and learning i'm sure like you will be able to learn so many great things so that's it guys i hope uh, you have found this video useful and if this is the case just hit that like and subscribe button that will definitely help me in uh, creating more such content so thank you guys shailesh kumar signing off bye